Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be specifically talking about my recent post which I made on LinkedIn, uh, a course, supply chain analytics course that I did from IIT Roorkee. Uh, about that course, the details, some summary will discuss about the course, who should do it, who should not do it. And I've been I've been getting a lot of requests in my LinkedIn uh, DMs that I should address this as soon as possible on my YouTube. So yeah, this video is all of all for those connections who requested me so. And before that, if you are new to this channel, uh, do subscribe for such content. So let us get started uh, right away. So this was the post which I have made um, about my completion of the certifications. So if you are not connected with me on LinkedIn, I'll post the link um, about on my, for my profile and we can get connected. So this is the course which I have done. Uh, I'll just zoom in a bit so that you can see. So on the left side bottom, you see the logo of IIT Roorkee. This is IIT Indian Institute of Technology Roorkee. So this is a very uh, well recognized course in India and Asia. And uh, since being a recognized institute, uh, this also give you a good recognition across industry as well. So I've seen a lot of professionals into analytics going for this courses uh, such type of courses from iits and this was there is one more supply chain analytics course uh, but i preferred this one i found out the content of this iit rookie was comparatively better mm, yes so talking about the course the course is uh, around eight week eight weeks long eight to nine weeks it takes and as you can see on the screen that it has two scores one is an online assessment another is final exam assessment in which you have to go to an examination center um, of nptl and appear for the exam the examination centers are almost available in all the major cities so that is not an issue second important thing which i would like to tell for if you want to get the certificate first is uh, the the foremost question which must be coming to all of yours mind that how much is the cost right the cost for this uh, nptl certification since it's powered by funded by government it's not much it's only 1000 and in terms of dollars it is around 12 dollars and or 1000 rupees and uh, at the same time if some if you do, if you are not interested in getting the certificate you can only go through this uh, course for free as well. The going through the course is totally free. The, the additional cost or the 1000 rupees or the $12 which, which if paid can help you to get the certificate. That extra money is only for the certificate. So that was about the uh, how much is the price of the cost for going to, to get this certificate. Now let us talk about how what are the criteria to to pass the certificate number one that all the online assess assignments since this course is divided into weekly modules or weekly uh, chapters parts so every week they will give you some assignments to do which are more like quiz and you need to score 40 percent in that to pass and you need to score separately 40 percent in the final exam as well and when you score 40% in both, then only you get the passing certificate. It's not an average score that is counted to get the certificate. You have to score 40% separately in both the exam. Suppose you score 80% in final exam, but your um, as online assignments or quizzes, you are around 35%. Though on an average, you may cross the 40%, but still you will fail to get the certificate that's why you see here that how many have a p how many have got the certificate 367 have got the certificate so that's the criteria so let me also take you to the website or the portal uh, of of nptl where you can do this course so you can directly google as well supply chain analytics from iit Roorkee. Uh, the Google will bring you here on this page. Uh, it's it's it would be on NPTEL website. 
here you can find it and here you will get some summary of what is the content of the courses what all books are ref referred to create the content the professor and there is a small video where uh, professor rajat agarwal talks about the course and on the right side you will have some details about the course as well not sure why we are in 2023 and still the old dates are reflecting okay so here this is the portal i'll take you inside my profile um, so this is how profile would look so once you create your profile by your credentials you can come inside come to my profile and go to my courses so this is the courses which i have enrolled into if i just select any of the course so this is how the portal looks like you can select any of the lessons those are posted on youtube and you will find a study material like this below which talks about what is covered in the sessions and uh, yeah it would be an eight week uh, course every week you will have four to five uh, video lectures which you need to go through all the videos are on an average around 40 30 to 40 minutes so you can um, safely assume you will have to spare two to three hours every week to go through the content and appear for the quiz you can add additional half an hour for quizzes so three three and a half an hour uh, around three to four hours you can consider depending about the speed of different individuals you need to a lot for going through this, going through this course thoroughly so like this you will have eight weeks so i'll just quickly zoom in and take you to the content rough con uh, topics of the which are covered in different weeks you can just pause the videos and see this will give you an idea what is exactly covered in the certificate this was for week four and week five is network supply chain and then week six it's about optimization then week seven is predictive modeling then week eight is the final so this was about decision trees yes so this is the rough content of the course and yes and based upon the quizzes weekly you will be monitored and you will get a score like this so if you go into the progress tab so here you can see with the date of my enrollment it is 2023 and you have week wise assignment you have to you have to appear for them every week one good thing is they'll only consider top four assignments to calculate your final score the final score which you saw here it's 18.33 top four um, assignment they should consider top four or five you see so week four and week seven i have performed very badly so these were the weeks where uh, my regular job my company uh, the regular job was very demanding and i couldn't find out enough time to go through the content and um, appear for the exam so you need to make sure that you plan your schedules properly to appear for quizzes and yeah it would definitely take up some time energy and you need to plan those two months very properly to get this certificate and the level of quiz is uh, quite good you have to go through the uh, course content and uh, talking about the final exam uh, where you need to go to examination center so quizzes are open book uh, open book exam you can go back to the content see and appear and write so that way considering that assignments or these quizzes are easy but the final exam is a proper exam where you go to an examination center uh, and appear for the exam that's not an open book exam so some quick suggestions for to pass it is that if you appear for assignments properly you just need to assignments and the study material which is there if you cover these two um, you can pass the final exam very easily so which study material i'm talking about let me just show you you go to any week and come just scroll below you will find this 
PBTs. So just go through these PBTs. Um, go through these PBTs. First, you should go through PBTs. Second is that or go through all the questions in the assignments. You will find most of the questions to some extent. Um, if you are comfortable doing assignment questions, even the final exam won't be much difficult for you. And if you want to score much better, then you can go through the content again. So I scored around 68-70%. So if you want to score more better, you can go through the content of the course again. So questions would be mostly from the content that has been taught. If you ask me what are the USPs about this course, so one very good thing about this course is they have live sessions in which uh, Professor Rajat Agarwal personally comes and if you have any questions regarding the course content or any doubts, you can ask, ask them in the uh, doubt sessions. So, and there are other live sessions as well where they cover additional content. So there are live sessions where discussing about the uh, course and also a doubt clearing uh, live sessions as well. So you should definitely take advantages of those uh, online live sessions that would be really helpful now to summarize uh, we have come to the end of this video uh, this is what i had for discussion today um, if you ask me to to give a summary who should be exactly doing this course so this is i i feel this is a good starting point for those who want to get into supply chain analytics good starting point this will open up a lot of doors for you to understand what all different branches and limbs are there in supply chain analytics. Uh, the course will talk about definitely a lot of basics and applications of analytics in different supply chain functions. And being from IIT, it would give certainly give a certain certainly give a some level of recognition in the industry as well. So uh, I'll, I'll be posting the link for this course into the description box. You can go through the course and see if you would like to appear for this course. So this is it for this lesson. Uh, thank you and have a great day ahead.